everybody. I've got a 15 minute mini journey. So I'm gonna be sharing some energy work and wisdom with the client. And this is actually a follow-up session. So I'll put a link to the, the prior session in the description if you're interested in watching. All right, I'm gonna read the goals and then I'm gonna be getting connected. Okay, goals are, a few years ago, I was walking my dog in the park and I thought about making a change. Don't remember exactly what, but it was about losing weight or exercising or something like that. I immediately heard a loud angry voice in my head say, you can't do that. You don't even deserve to live. I don't have any conscious idea of what I did that made it so angry. And I've never heard the voice or any voice in my head before or after that. So the question is, what did I do and to whom that caused someone or something to be so angry? And what can I do to clear it? And how do I ask for forgiveness? How do I apologize and to whom? My previous reading with you about being powerful felt right on the mark. And I figure if someone or some part of me thinks I don't deserve to live, that would be affecting me being powerful. <laughs> okay, this is so interesting. Give me just a moment here. I'm going to absorb some of the energy here of your goals. Hmm. Okay. All right, here we go. I will say that the first thing I'm experiencing is being quite exhausted. And I feel exhausted enough that I could trip and fall flat on my face because it's not easy to walk when you're this tired. I feel hurt and burnt out inside and sad. I feel a bit lost in my thoughts, that feeling of over being overjoyed or feeling more articulate in the direction of life and who I am in life is missing here. And I feel a part of you and it's located in the emotional gut region. It's not necessarily the stomach either. It's a different organ, digestive organ. And it feels like a lot of uh, the, the, I don't want to call it stress, but uh, I guess you could say energy burden um, is weighing down on this inner body part. And our body parts have consciousness too. Our heart is a living organism. <laughs> the way they communicate internally is different than we understand because we communicate through, we have a thought and then we express the thought. But your inner body, your cells and everything, they're all talking to each other. And sometimes you can um, you can have an inner body part find a way to get a message through to the mind and the mind then translate the message as following. Now you get this loud, angry voice in your head. Does it really mean that you don't deserve to live or is it? Does it feel like it doesn't deserve to live because it, so much burden is being put on it? There's, there's an exhaustion. Do you ever feel when you're really exhausted or life isn't working right? You could, you could even blow up for, and you don't, it's not really you that's blowing up. It's just what you're going through that's kind of blowing up through you. And so it's like an internal part of your being had a, a blow up. And it sent the information in the mind and the best the mind could translate it into English was in this way. Um, something you would understand, okay? Then now you hear it and now you're wondering what the heck <laughs> was that? <laughs> it's pretty uh, normal for the human race to be disconnected with our body. We have no idea 
what our body's going through because we haven't learned how to develop a communication ability with the body. And we're all, I mean, I would say a lot of the human race, if not all, <laughs> isn't a hundred percent tuned in here because we've lost or we have forgotten or we have evolved out of or something has happened where we don't know how to have the communication with our inner body. And it doesn't surprise me that this was sparked when you were thinking about something maybe having to do with losing weight or exercising or buttering yourself in some way. And it sparked a trigger of just exhaustion, uh, energetic weight on the liver or on some part of you. Um, and then that sent the signal of information. It doesn't feel like it was a, a spirit that you had wronged or... Um, it actually feels like the internal body communicating with you. So my spirit guides are saying, um, so how, how do you step into your power? How do you become a reflection of your power? Now that you are aware that your inner body is finding a way to communicate with you at the conscious mind level, how can you use this information to continue to develop your power, right? <laughs> One of my guides is sort of like, how do I want to put it? <laughs> Almost like, okay, we've presented this idea and now you are aware that your inner body is able to communicate with your mind. And if you can get in tune with the inner body, the physical body speaking, all of that, you could become quite powerful in understanding your own body balance and enhancing your body balance and becoming a more super person, right? Because you have access to that information. But the joke is kind of like, well, you know, how confusing, you know, you know, we present you with this potential, but how are you even going to work with it? And he shows me how the human mind um, is like, oh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> so he's showing me this. It makes me laugh. <laughs> if we all had a clue how to do this, the human race would be totally different. <laughs> So it's not meant to be easy, but you are meant to be aware of it. He shows me something neat. Um, this is like a yellow pterodactyl, okay? And I'm not sure why, but you're holding onto one of the wings instead of um, in the center of the pterodactyl. So the balance is a bit off. And I'm working on helping you to get centered, all right, on this yellow pterodactyl so you can feel uh, like you're gripping this bird that is taking you places and is different than any other flying creature in the world today because it's a pterodactyl. And it's going to help you feel more centered within yourself and grounded, even though you're on a pterodactyl, you feel more solid and safe and secure without needing to feel safe or secure. You just feel centered and balanced. And it feels a lot better to be riding on the center of the pterodactyl than on one of its wings. It's It doesn't feel as good. This is an, an important message, and I don't know all the ins and outs of it yet. Because they're talking about, well, who is the pterodactyl? Like, what does the pterodactyl represent? Does that represent a part of yourself or somebody or something? And my spirit guide is saying, if you could see everything in your life as a, a, an extension of yourself, that too is going to give you a new... Um, development or connection with what it is to be in your own power. Even the thought of bettering yourself is an extension of yourself. Um, walking the dog, your dog is an extension of yourself. Um, the walk is an extension of yourself. Everything, the action, the thought, the um, physical being, the conversation, all of it is an extension of yourself. 
that is teaching you about balance and taking you in a direction. It's a new way of perceiving the world around you and your relationship with it. <sighs> okay, I don't know why they're being so silly right now. But uh, kind of another, I don't know why, but all right, so here you are and it's almost like you're meeting this person. I don't know if you know them for a long time or you're just meeting them, but you have this, you're talking to them, but behind your eyes, you're trying to see how this person is an extension of yourself and they have no idea that they're just having a normal conversation, but little do they know you're wondering <laughs> how is this person an extension of you? It's funny. It's really funny. It's like the secret things that people think about you know, when they're having a normal everyday conversation and it never goes into the conversation. It's the secret thoughts of the human race. It's funny. But he shows me, the spirit guide shows me you doing this. You're, you're actually going to take the time to think about this. And it's going to open doors for you that you didn't anticipate. And your awareness of a place of power or inner power or your spiritual connection and relationship with everything. It's going to uh, expand you. It's, it's cool. Okay, you're telling me, well, can we get back to the physical organ here? Because I want to make sure, is it still burdened or, I mean, what do I need to do? Because I want to make sure that um, receives help. Because it's not my intention to hurt my body, but, so if I am, then I would really like to reconcile that. That's what you say. So I'm going into, it is something in your digestive region. I don't know what organ it is. Just a second. It's just, it's, it's like storing, you're storing information in there, even memories. Um, you're storing stress, um, different feelings in there. So it's just releasing or venting out um, this right now. It doesn't hurt me or anything, but it's like I can feel tightness. I can feel strain. I can feel burden. I can feel like memories being stored or processed here. Like it's not all in the brain. I'm telling you it's all over the body. We store memories all over the body. Uh, okay, Whew. it's relaxing. The heart is jumping in here. Okay, I see an image of a child that is being beaten by a father figure. And the child feels uh, worthless. Doesn't know what to do in order to make their dad happy. Dad just keeps beating them up and the child really is trying to figure out what they can do to make the dad happy so the dad will stop beating them. And I see this is a poorer household. It's not like, um, it's not well to do by any means. It feels like another time and it's the, it's so painful, not physically painful, emotionally painful it's traumatizing it's traumatizing the inner child it's creating m major confusion it's harming the soul in the 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 father is so caught up in whatever his issue is he can't control himself he's completely out of control he's lost himself in his own mind i don't even know that he's in there like I can experience the father and it's like the father isn't even there. It's like his soul leaves his body when he has these weird episodes and he just starts beating the living daylights out of you. And it's like this. I don't know if you end up dying from abuse, um, but it's so wrong. And there's no way to... I can't figure out how in the world the, this father would have ever... Um, I don't know what the solution would have been for him. 
But this memory still exists. And that type of um, horrible, horrible language being expressed to you, a child. And it still exists in memory and it's being stored in a place in your physical body today. Because your physical body is processing all of your energy. And all of your energy remembers everything. That's why we get ailments associated with some other lifetime. So just, this is still having, um, it's still kind of, it, it's literally like, um, I mean, it, it, it's showing me so many, it's like expressing itself in all these hand languages. It's just like, <laughs> it's saying so many things without knowing how to say it. And it's just like reacting. <sighs> okay. <sighs> it's just it's starting to calm down. It looks like a little black pea. <sighs> and it, it gets to, I keep thinking of liver. <sighs> <sighs> so much burden it's so much burden and thinking about bettering yourself for some reason triggered this and the information got to your mind and it came through it's like the memory beacon was also there and it was triggering like it's it's actually amazing that this happened it's almost through processing okay you're, you're actually co reliving the memory right now. This, this part of your soul is through, through this um, journey. It's a lot of discomfort. A lot of discomfort to remember. And, and it really feels like you were trying to figure out how to help your dad. Like you were trying to figure out how you could be better. How you could um, make him happy. But you're also trying to figure out how to help him because you you seem to know that he was sick in some way that he couldn't um, that he had a disability or something, um, and you couldn't figure it out either. And you're a kid. I mean, you're a kid trying to figure this stuff out. It's your own survival instincts, but you seemed quite intelligent. And you seem quite old for your age. <sighs> you needed to know about this. Everything is just, just relaxing and subsiding now. And again, they show me the image of you on the yellow pterodactyl and to enjoy soaring in the sky. Um, and they show me moving you from the wing to the center so you can feel centered. And it's much more enjoyable to be centered when you enjoy this ride. <laughs> and it's quite peaceful. Okay, that's all I can share. That was super interesting. Thank you so much. <laughs> I can only imagine um, what this is going to mean to you. <sighs> Thank you for sharing on YouTube as well. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. All right, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.